Hi, I'm Stan Wilson. I'm a custom knife maker out of Florida. I specialize in making little fancy folding knives, mostly out of Damascus and exotic handle materials such as mammoth tooth or black lip pearl. One of the things I'm known for lately is my hidden screw construction. If you look at this knife, you notice there's no screw showing on this side or this side. Yet the whole knife is screwed together. I think it's a lot cleaner look than with the screw showing. It's more challenging to make. And of course, customers can't take them apart unless they have the special little handmade tool. This one also has a little added feature. It's a double action auto with my hidden button. All my knives are handmade with no CNC. I don't work off of set templates. I tend to work off of little paper templates so I can change the knives on the fly if I want to. It gives me a lot of versatility and, and uh, I'm not locked into any one design. One of the questions I get asked a lot at the shows is, how long does it take to make, to make a knife like this? And my answer to that is, I don't keep track of time. I tried doing that once and it was actually kind of frightening how many hours I had in it. So basically, I will start the knife when I start it, and when it's done, it's done. One of the things I like to do lately is instead of etching the blades, I'll get these nice colorations in the, in the Damascus by cooking them in a, a caustic chemical soup, which at times works out wonderful, other times not so wonderful. I have to strip the knife because the colors don't come out the way it looks good with the handle. In this case, I was lucky enough to get nice pinks and greens which match the black lip pearl quite nicely. One of the things I've been doing lately, again, like I said, is the hidden screw construction. If I go in here with this little tool and loosen up these two screws inside here, I can slide this scale off. And I like to make everything on the inside of the knife finished as well as the outside. All the internal screws are gold-plated. The little dovetail rail is gold-plated. All the liners are sanded and jeweled. Nobody ever sees this, but it bothers me when I'm putting something together if it's not finished. After this scale is removed, I can go ahead and just pour little screws. Come out of the frame here. I can unlock the knife, lift this back half up, and it'll begin to rotate around. I've got my back pivot here, pivot screw is cut off like a T, so it's like a little keyhole slot to lock the knife together. Again, you can see everything is finished inside. My signature plate inside is an insert of 14 karat gold. The knife actually closes in the stop position against a little gold stop pin. The inset in the thumb stud is a ruby set in white gold. Put the knife back together, you align the slots, rotate it around, lift it up till it hits the register pin, and it's just a matter of tightening up the three screws, or four screws in this case. And if the knife is built carefully with attention to everything being flat and square from the beginning, I just tighten these screws up, you look at my blade drops right back down in the middle of the channel again, right where I want it. Slide the scale back on, go inside and lock down these two screws. It's all back in one piece.